After more than two days of traveling, five dogs arrived here in South Florida, all the way from China. It's all thanks to the work of a rescue group who's made it their mission to save as many as they can and give them a second chance at life. Here's CBS 4's Carly Barnett. Oh, but it's honey. Welcome. Here we go. Before the sun was up Saturday morning, Good Karma Pet Rescue was already at work. Oh, precious baby. Oh. These pups had a long journey, making it from China to Miami International Airport. Five lives were spared today, and now we're going to get them amazing homes. Devin Soto with Good Karma says it takes a lot of work and planning to make this possible, but says it's worth it to know they're safe from a grim fate. They wind up on menus, so if we don't rescue them, their only fate is to be someone's meal, unfortunately. The borders are closed due to COVID, so they had to come in on a cargo flight. After their arrival, the dogs got a checkup at the vet and some much-deserved treats. They came off a 50-hour flight from China, so understandably, not only do they have prior health issues from being in this awful meat trade, but additionally, when they've been in an extensive flight, um, there's bound to be issues like dehydration and um, certainly other concerns. That's why I'm here to help assess them and, and give them a full physical exam. The dogs get purchased from the meat trucks before going to the slaughterhouse. Each dog costs between one and two thousand dollars and sponsors cover the expense of the work the rescue does. Oh, honey. Oh. <laughs> After their exams, the pups will head to foster homes for some much needed TLC before being put up for adoption. It's important to help our local dogs, but if we are fortunate enough to be in the position where we can help on a global level, that's what Good Karma does. So that's why we're here today. Trying to give as many dogs as possible a fighting chance and a loving home. Harley Barnett, CBS4 This Morning. Those faces, huh? Soda says the organization, which is based in Fort Lauderdale, is always looking for willing foster families and volunteers at their shelter to find out more or learn about adopting. We have that information for you on our website, cbsmiami.com.